Alright guys, today I'm going to go through some stuff that I think you should have if you're going to have multiple snakes. I'm not talking two or three, I'm talking like ten or so. Now I get everybody wants to have displays and all, and if I was going to display my animals to where I wanted to show them all off, I would buy some of these actual cages, glass, I would put a light inside, that way you could actually see everything. Now, with that being said, if you're going to breed or you just, you're not going to show off your snakes in your house, you just want a whole bunch of snakes. Just say, just say eight. Okay, we're going to go with this one. Just say you want eight snakes and these are 28 quart tubs. I mean, you could go bigger. You could build them like how I built these. These are 41s, but again, you got to remember, you can't go and put a small snake in a huge cage. Most of the time, stressed out, don't eat. That's for another episode, but I'm going to show you bare bones what you would need and what I think you should have. So, you go and you get your rack. You buy it, you build it, whatever you're going to do. This just so happens to be the first rack I ever built. Not the best, not the greatest. Does its job. 28 quarter is what I like having my males in or my juveniles. Heat tape. Get yourself a decent thermostat. Now I got these Valvarium Electronics. The 300, awesome, love it. You don't need it. The 100 is perfectly fine. But do not rely on the probe. As you can see, I got mine set at 95. But in my tubs, it's only 89. Always go by what's in the tub. Not by what the thermostat is. Now, one thing I do is I got, if it wants to focus, these QL codes. You don't need that. I think everybody should at least have a book that they can write down every time the animal eats, shed, if it has a problem, if you got to do any medications or anything like that. Then, you got to figure out, are you feeding live? Are you feeding frozen thaw? Will the snake take frozen thawed? And you get yourself a set of these hemostats. I got these Harbor Freight, cheap as can be. Love them. You still gotta watch yourself. They're good. Now I got it's mostly just the cage stay, but I got this little hook. Telescopes. I mean, it's okay, but really. I never use a hook. It's great for if you got somebody that's really feisty, you can kind of redirect their head a different way so they don't swing back at you. But you don't really need it. Then I'll go with some of the stuff I got. Now where I feed frozen bulb, I have a thing of Ziplocs here that I use every time I go to the freezer to pull out what I need for the day. Now one thing I keep, now I always use paper, or not paper towel on these ones, I use paper towel on the babies, but I use uh, newspaper. I never have a problem with mites with this stuff. But whenever you get a new snake, you always want to quarantine it. And then one thing I always do is I always wash the snake and I always hit it with some mite spray. Because when you get a new snake, you don't know what was going on in the other person's rack or anything like that. So it's always good to have a little bit of mite spray and if you're going to use wood bedding, I've gotten mites from wood bedding. Anybody who's ever said they that they don't get mites and has been keeping snakes for years and years and years and years is a liar. Everybody has to deal with mites. It's like fleas with dogs. It's how you take care of them that shows what kind of owner you are. I always have a little bit of spray because when you got this many snakes and on cleaning day like what today is it tends to smell up the room a little bit so you give it a little spritz but you don't want to do too much because it will mess, mess with the snakes I just give it a little spritz and let it air out and we're going to move over here gloves I like this Clorox cleanup for the tubs themselves I mean some people might say it's a little too strong I've been using it for years and don't have a problem with it now I also make my own bleach like this. I put a cap full of bleach, fill it up with water, and I use that on more sensitive things. 
Dawn. Great stuff. I love having Dawn. It kills mites, kills basically anything. And I always once, I try once a month to wash all my snakes. Another good thing to have, Betadine and just a triple antibiotic. Nothing fancy, as you can see, this is just cheap CVS brand. That's for if you end up getting any burns, scale rot, any problems like that. Really, you shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but again, if you get a new snake, and something's wrong with it, and you don't know, you have the stuff. One thing you might not really need, but if you're doing anything like breeding-wise, you should have probe kit. Always have a probe kit. That way you can accurately sex them. Cheap scale. Just like with the forceps. Harbor Freight. Great. You can track everybody's weights. Paper towel. Buy it in bulk. I just bought this cheap pitcher for water. Makes it a little bit easier. I don't have access to having a hose where I'm at right now. So this makes it a little bit easier when I'm cleaning everything out. And then just a little thing of Windex, cheap Windex, that's for when you're cleaning up that or if you're actually using tanks. Now, one thing I'll say is that if you're breeding, good thing to have dry erase board. That way you can jot some stuff down, like if you look right here, I got shed. I gotta check everybody today, see who's in shed, because everybody who was in shed has shed out. And like my last girl, when she ovulated, post ovulation shed, when she laid around about day 54 for hatching. And then, you know, me and the family, we always gotta have a little contest to see how many of what we're gonna have. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you really need. To get going maybe I'll do another video on some some in-depth and more like breeding style things that you would need but I think that's the general rule of what you should have if you're gonna keep multiple snakes but uh hey if you think I missed something let me know as always guys have a good one